Good morning. It is Monday. I'm excited to talk about the practice of happiness in light of a few events that happened over the weekend. Move your body, free your mind, elevate your spirit. Those are all a part of the formula for happiness. Yesterday we were hiking and my 12 year old tends not to choose happiness in his life and has been questioning where happiness comes from. In discussing this with him and attempting to help him understand, the conversation became relatively heated. We're talking about happiness, except he was becoming frustrated. He wasn't understanding how to choose happiness and really was discouraged that happiness eluded him at every turn. In describing the results of hiking on one's body, that is to say, the constant repetitive uh, motor neuron activity, which is proprioception, to the brain takes away some of the underlying um, conscious brain uh, neural impulses that contribute to uneasiness and uh, our thoughts being taken away from us. I mean, taken away with us. Um, so in moving your body, your brain is flooded with input, proprioceptive input, that actually has a calming effect. That calming effect allows the brain a clarity and a focus. And my 12-year-old tends not to move his body, chooses not to move his body much. Um, he likes to do things that uh, require more thinking and less moving. And there's no problem with that, except he gets out of the habit of feeling that wonderful uh, mood um, that happens when you move your body regularly over a period of time, like hiking or walking. So in choosing happiness, there is an, uh, an actual physiology, a neurobiological mechanism that helps you to choose a more happier outlook. And if you're not stimulating your body and your brain in specific ways, it makes it much more difficult for you to choose happiness and that perspective that happiness can provide for you. Another uh, funny, not funny haha, -ha, but funny that it was a great example to use, occurred my 12-year-old uh, walked through a field and got some scratches on his thigh. And he was focused on the pain and discomfort of those scratches and was repeating, I hate this, I hate this. And in that moment, it was a great opportunity to share with him that he could choose to focus on the scratch and the itch on his leg, or he could choose to focus on the fact that he had a leg that could feel scratching, that he had a nervous system, and it seems oversimplified, and it seems to be uh, undermining the possible truth of happiness, except in every moment, we are given a choice of what we can focus on, of what we want to focus on. And if you have a scratch on your leg, and it burns, and it's crazy, you can choose to focus on the burn and the scratch. And in actuality, our brain will pay attention to that pain and scratch more than other things because that is a stimulus that gets our attention so that we can take care of it. <clears throat> hey, thanks for joining me, David and Nina. So when you have a scratch, when you have a pain, when you have something that is a distraction that creates um, uh, the, the, that shifts the focus of your brain, that's the time more than ever to choose an optimistic outlook, a, a happy focus point. I'll give you another example. 
um, last Thursday I was stepping into my trousers to get dressed and I tweaked my back and it dropped me to the floor. And occasionally I have um, bouts of back pain. Uh, and it seems that when I do have them, they tend to be debilitating. And in that moment, I did some uh, very basic exercises based on original strength and I was out of pain within two minutes. It was phenomenal. I could feel the ache of where the pain was. I could feel the muscle that had spasm that had contributed to the pain, but the pain itself was gone. And I was very happy about that because I was able to take my younger son to his uh, pirate party they were having at school. So in that moment of experiencing pain, I had two choices. I could have laid on the floor and writhed and focused on the pain, or I could have chosen to do something about it. In my case, I did. I happened to have uh, in my back pocket some exercises that I was able to do to immediately change my perception of pain. Later that day, through compensation patterns, I experienced back pain in another place uh, of my back and had to do a different set of exercises to alleviate that pain. But understand, in every moment, in every situation, we get to choose how we respond to it. We get to choose how we react to it. And in that choice, the more frequently you choose to empower yourself and choose happiness or um, the opportunity to take action, proactive action, to do something about your situation that gives you the opportunity and the tools to make a choice like that again in the future. So I encourage you to choose happiness to choose to take action based in happiness and a positive outlook. If you'd like help with that, I would love to offer you a 20 minute conversation. Please PM me and we can um, talk about the choices that you have in every day or even in a particular situation so that you can see how happiness can benefit you. Thanks for joining me. Until Wednesday when I see you again, think head wise, feel heart wise, and move body wise.